So yo, check this out, man. Somebody help me understand, because I ain't getting this. This whole battle pass thing for NBA 2K. And I get why 2K is doing it. But the question I have is, why is the community supporting this, man? Why is, why is everybody thinking this mess cool? You mean to tell me I got to pay $70 for the next generation game already? That's cool. I get it. $70. Then on top of that, I have to buy two packs of VC, $100 pack and $120 pack, just to put myself in a position to get my bill to be complete. And then once that bill is complete, you know what I'm saying, there's going to be patches in the game that makes me change how I play, which makes the bill that I made for me null and void. There's going to be at least two of those that happen. So at a minimum, I'm going to have to pay that $120 plus twice. That's at a minimum. So I'm looking at, you know what I'm saying, $440 for that. I'm looking at $70 for the game. And once that all that is complete, in order to make my bill competitive, I have to buy in-game purchases of boosts to make sure that I'm competitive at the max level if I want to compete, if I want to play the game and actually enjoy it without the randomness of 2K putting some bull crap in the game that punishes me because I don't have the boost. So on top, so let's just say, you know I said, $500 off the bat just to play this game. $500 just to play this game. And then there's battle passes on top of that? So now I'm paying $500, you know what I'm saying, a lump sum fee of $500 to play this game just to be competitive. I have to pay an additional, you know what I'm saying, $90 or additional pretty much $200, you know what I'm saying, to beat this game to actually enjoy it to its fullest. Why are we accepting this, man? You know what I'm saying? Why, what the, why to, to my friends and family who've seen this, why is this mess acceptable? Please give me your thoughts. Why are we paying so much for a game that's incomplete? We purchased the game, and the game is incomplete. They patched the game at least nine times because the game is incomplete. The game is glitchy. It's unresponsive, but we're supposed to pay, you know what I'm saying, a minimum of $500. So you're looking at, if you just buy the simple battle pass, you're looking at, you know what I'm saying, it's about $700 for a game that has information that does not transfer to the next year. Come on, man. Somebody make this make sense to me because I ain't getting it, bro. $500 base. You know what I said? Just to play the game. Just to play the game at an enjoyable level. But then, you know what I say, an additional battle pass to, you know what I said, to enjoy the game to its fullest. Take that back. Additional, yeah, additional $90 at a minimum to enjoy it to its fullest. If you pay $20 more a month, you get the whole, you know what I'm saying, full battle pass bullcrap. I ain't getting it, yo. So somebody help make this make sense to me because I ain't getting it. One, the biggest part of it is why is it supportive of our community? Why do we want to continuously get butt raped by a game? You know what I'm saying? Doesn't, doesn't give us us all. The game is incomplete. The game is broken. The game is un unresponsive. You know, it, it, there is nothing that's in the game that, you know what I'm saying, we can request while the game is live and being patched that benefits us as players. Everything is done for monetization. The bills they make, the time periods they release them, the time periods they change their sliders is all about money. When the game gets stale, they change sliders to benefit, you know what I'm saying, certain aspects of the game so you can make a new bill so they can get more money. We all know this and we accept it. Now, on top of all of that, they're adding battle passes and jokers are going to accept it. Our question is why? Why is this acceptable in our community? Why? Help make it make sense to me. Talk to me.